So if we take it out without noticing it, the house will collapse. So the importance about the gray beam is, is because it's supporting this house above. So if we take it out without noticing it, the house will collapse. So one way to beef that up is what we talk, talk to the engineer is see if we could deepen the footing over here so the house could support on deeper footings to make sure it doesn't collapse. So over here on Monday, that's what we're gonna go over with the engineer to see what is how deep and how far we need to go out so then we can support the weight. So what's so important about this is work like this is not everybody could do it. So we take it on because it's very challenging. And over here, you can actually see the concrete gray beam. So what we have to do is probably over excavate this, uh, go down a lot, maybe five, six, seven feet, break this apart, go down six, seven feet. So I just met inside with the engineer. Um, instead of underpinning the footing for here, he came up with a couple of great suggestions, which is to go under the spa. So that helps me a lot because it's so much easier to do. So this is why a lot of times we do have professional engineers because that's not my job. I don't know how to calculate these kind of things. I only have a rough idea and build them. Uh, but it's nice to know because then instead of digging under here seven feet and try to underpin this, we could just go under the spot, which just makes it a lot easier to do and have the building support on it. So back here at this foundation, we're gonna, our guys have excavated underneath. We're gonna keep this intact. We're gonna build, build our secondary support first. And then after we support the house, then we're gonna take this out and then put the spot in. Or else if we just take this out right now, the house might not collapse, but might sag a little bit. So we're back at this project, the footing's excavated. Now we're going to pour a new beam under this. But in order to hold the house up while I break this, I'm going to pour additional footing to hold this so that the house doesn't sink. So we're ready to pour concrete here so we can support the house, deepen the footing here first. But then we take this out and build our pool spa around it, under it. So they finished up tying the rebar yesterday. So this is tied to the house, goes down, goes all the way across, comes back up. Here it goes down under, comes back up. After we pour concrete, then the spa goes on top of it. That's part of the other side of the wall of the spa. So this way. So now by doing this, we tie this together and the house won't move. Waiting for an inspector here. The reason that why we pour this down here it's not because it's supporting this, that's supporting that. It's because when there's two columns and there's a structure above, what this does is it, provi it prevents the house from moving horizontally. So there's another one down here. So what you don't want is you don't want the house to sh to, if I didn't have the typing below, the, the house will wobble. But if I have it here, then the house is more stable. So it's like a brace. So we just passed an inspection here, which is good news. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour concrete on the bottom, build my spa, and then these walls and the spa will do together. Because now I'm no longer worry about a house collapsing. We got the foundation poured. Now this is the spa. So we tore out the beam, move it down. So this is where our spa will be. So a lot of work, but it'll be nice because it's under the shade.
back here we did the plumbing so now we'll call for inspection get this all shot and then we could put our mosaic around the pool so we just passed inspection we're gonna schedule a shot cream pour all this in then we can fill this up fill this up i have a really cool outdoor kitchen here uh, and then on friday we're gonna actually pull this palm out move it so it's a little bit straighter and then go from there because we couldn't fit at the time so we had to excavate again and then tilt it back We're finally shooting the spa here, so we got the foundation below. We're gonna shoot the spa, and then tomorrow we're gonna move this tree. <laughs> Here we got the spa in, uh, finish all the coping. Now we're gonna mark the whole, whole pool so then we can get mosaic installed. Kind of exciting. Got the mosaics, so we're gonna move on to. Over here we got the spa completed. What's really cool about the spa, it's got this little detail on the on this first step. So this wraps around and then kind of makes makes a frame and then we got this little detail at the corner. And then you see the rolled ends, so then it doesn't cut you when you're sitting against it. Subtle details. So we're getting about to put water in this pool. 